Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to America's most beloved firehouse morning show. A cup of Joe and some Fuego. Oh my God! And welcome back, guys, to your favorite interactive firefighter show. Cup of Joe and some Fuego. Good morning. Fresh back from the show down in Wildwood, New Jersey. Ruffy, don't go with me to this one, but I had my kids, my wife, and uh, had a great time. Met so many cool dudes and chicks, uh, firefighters, and uh, it was a really good time, man. Had a really great time down there, interesting people. And I uh, was in the booth with One Source. Uh, Love those guys. Uh, Jamie, Big Bill, and Chris shared the booth with them. In fact, this show. Is brought to you by one source stand by equip your fire and rescue emergency response personnel with the equipment they need to save lives and keep themselves as protected as possible while in harm's way with safety equipment from one source fire rescue our comprehensive supply company provides the life-saving implements emergency responders need to be prepared for any situation with dependable quality products by reputable companies such as traeger viking life saving equipment fire hooks crew boss kuriyama fire hose and nozzles Phoenix Technology, helmets, Vanguard gloves, Tempest fans, Ready Rack, Black Diamond boots, and much more. Our quality products are competitively priced to meet your budget criteria. One Source was established in 2012 and continues to strive to provide not only the best products on the market, but customer service. One Source has been and continues to be committed to meeting all new and demanding challenges in the firefighting industry with the highest quality and the most dependable products. Thanks, guys. Also brought to you by, of course, you know, the Salty Wire. Get over there and purchase it. www.saltywire.com. Get all the original content. Get the the app, the uh, Firewire app. You're at $9.99 a month, bro. If you don't like it, just cancel. Where are you going to get all these historical pieces and the original content and the app for $9.99 a month? You waste that in freaking 7-Eleven. You can't even buy a whiskey shot with that, bro. Give me a break. Uh, we got to move this one fast, guys, because we got so many guys sent things in. And I want to put up the people that we met down in uh, Jersey and also so many uh, 9-11 ceremonies all over the place. They sent me these from uh, all over the country here, man. It just shows you that the guys, the, the Brotherhood, the, the, the Leatherhead Nation, they don't forget. So here we go. We're going to start off and we're going to move quickly if I can find my mouse here. Where is my mouse? Here it is. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Hi, Kevin. This is a, uh, a photo of my brother, Brian McCarrick, out of 176, photo taken by a British news photographer on 9-11. The photographer found him years later and gave him a framed copy of the photo and gave the copies of their something. I can't read the rest. Terry McCarrick. There you go. All right. Here we go. Now we're going. Hey, Kevin, I attended the 23rd anniversary 9-11 memorial here in Venice, Florida at Patriots Park. The keynote speaker was retired Eric Sizzlis, who was introduced as now having a Ph.D. in helping first responders. A few photos included of him and other FDNY retirees. Hope you could share and use this. See you and Lou fit. Hope you can share and use C and Lou C fit. All right, whatever. The men all looked healthy and smiling on this somber day. Steve. Let's see. How many did he send? <laughs> there you go, brothers. There you go, there you go, there you go. Nice. Patriots Park. Brothers doing it down there. Doing it. All right. Hey, Kevin. Rocky Point Fire Department, 9 11 Memorial Park in Shoreham, New York, Wednesday, 9 11 24. The Rocky Point Fire Department held their annual 9-11 ceremony. It was a nice turnout by the community, Rocky Point School Band and Singers. Thanks. Ex-Terry, ex-Chief Terry McCarrick. Oh, same guy. Retired NYPD. The guy sent in a picture of his brother. See? In every cop, there's a fine and dying to get out, bro. There you go. Here's the guys in Rocky Point. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Nice job, fellas. Really nice job. Yep. All right, next, here we go. 9-11 ceremony held every year at Dixon City Fire Station, PA. Names of all the brothers lost are read in reverence by the D.C. Belinsky reading the lost brother's name. Piece of World Trade Center steel on display in the Dixon Municipal Entry foyer. 
my boy Billy, he gives me the peanut butter pretzels Balinski. Very nice, boys. It's another one. Let me see. Yep, there's a piece of steel. Excellent. Yeah, man. And last but not least here, senior dude who will be on the show Thursday night. We're going to do a roundtable, a um, random thoughts with Captain Heavy D. Murphy. Firefighter Hank Malay was honored speaker at the Orlando Fire Department September 11th ceremony after being invited by one of us. Here he is mem memorializing the 19 members of Squad 288 and Hazmat 1. Maybe I should put the picture up. There's a senior dude. Uh, Hazmat 1 that were killed on that tragic day. We would like the brothers, we would like to thank the brothers. Our hearts and prayers continue to go out to those affected from the terrorist attack and change that changed our nation. Walter Lewis, Assistant Chief, Fire Department, City of Orlando. Nice. All right, let's go to some of the people who we met, basically who I met, down in Jersey. Here we go. Here is great to meet you. He started off by saying, and away we go. Great to meet you in person. Keith Garcia, Hapatakong, Hapatakong, Fire Department, Company 3. Here's another guy that I met down there, Jimmy Rabino. I know his parents well, Angela and Jimmy. Uh, good friends with them. His son is a volunteer fireman now. Would love to get on the job. Good kid, man. Very respectful kid. Love his mom and dad to pieces. Here we go with this bad boy. Look at this. This is, oh, goodness. Look at that. Look at that tattoo. That looks familiar, man. That looks like you're getting salty. That is Steve Magno Helmetta Fire. Yep. And, oh, man. Where's the other guy? I skip him. Hold on a minute. Oh, I skipped the other guy. I'll have to have him on the next show. He had a hell of a mustache. Oh, man. Steve Knobs, kick ass mustache. I forgot to download that picture. I'll have it on the next show. We'll do it on uh, Wife Beater Wednesday. Uh, anyway, here we go. We got R3 1950 in the vault from the vault. Rescue 3 1950 Old International Trucks. And this one, it was a bond burner, bro. Here we go. 1977, the Warriors, Stone and Summer Street, Fifth Alarm, Box 997. Woo! That one's going well. Yep. That one's going bumper to bumper. Do it. All right, we got to get to our videos now. We're moving fast. We're moving fast, guys. Remember to keep sending these. I love them. They're coming in now. They're pouring in. I want kitchen tables, though, and father's sons. I don't have any kitchen tables or father's sons. All right, this first we're going to Sixth Alarm in Lowell, Massachusetts. This one gets a little hairy, man. You guys are bailing out a little bit. going to be one day that i don't do that i don't know what it's going to be hopefully sometime soon all right this next one i don't really know where this is from but it's a good helmet cam maybe if i write it down next time
Did anybody notice what I noticed? Did anybody notice that cock loft a huffing and a puffing, bro? I can tell you right now, I would not be up there without a line, but that's just me. That thing was breathing, bro. That was sucking in and out, and I would certainly not be up there without a line. That's that's a recipe for disaster right there. All right, so here we go. I don't mind the usually Monday morning quarterback, but that one just was so obvious to me. Sorry about that. Anyway, we're going back to Harrisburg, man. These guys do some work. No wonder the skull was a legend over He just retired, by the way. Harrisburg, PA, 2040, Swartis Street, first alarm duplex, fire, wagon three, got the pipe. He's the pipe man on 9-11, no doubt. Check this out. Honestly, three children trapped inside and one person that has to be disabled. Do you want the first alarm one? Squad, charge the 200 off the driver's side. Wagon 3, is that you coming down from there on the 20th Street? I have another hydrant here about 8 Wagon three dancing with the devil there, bro. Great job. Great job. That does it, bro, for another episode of A Cup of Joe and some Fuego. Keep sending them in. I liked them. Uh, I didn't get to know audio files today, but I will uh, tomorrow on Wife Beater Wednesday. Send them in. Send me the father's son, the kitchen tables, the fires, the helmet cans, bro. Said, oh, I got it. You know what I got for you tomorrow? Some guy sent me in a, a big list of firefighter nicknames. It's hysterical. I'll read that one off tomorrow. So um, until tomorrow, guys, you know what I say. I love the smell of a cockloaf burning in the morning. Be safe. God bless you guys. Leatherhead Nation, I'm out.